Hi everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. Rowan and Tom here, just enjoying another day on the farm. So a lot of people are talking, what is the best way to keep pests out of your garden? Um, some people use chemicals, some people use organic, um, I guess chemicals that they make at home. We've done that before. Um, we do not use store-bought pesticides. I figure if I want to do that, I can buy food at the grocery store. But Rowan is going to show you the most natural way to keep pests and predators out of your garden. So Rowan, you want to show everybody? So what do you got there, Ro? A praying mantis. A praying mantis. So Rowan found this praying mantis yesterday um, we will give you some close-up shots in a minute. So she found this praying mantis outside our front door. He was little. Now he's molted and he is like three times his size. So anytime we find a praying mantis, we put that praying mantis in the garden. Sometimes we find praying mantis nests. Um, they look like a small kind of paper globey nest about the size of a quarter or half dollar. It kind of looks like a wasp nest. Yeah. Exactly. It looks like a wasp nest, but maybe like... This big. Yeah. Um, so anytime we find those, we put those in the garden as well. Um, you usually find those March, April, May. If you find those on a twig or tree, you don't know what it is. It is probably a praying mantis nest. So we are going to enjoy this mantis and then we are going to put him in our garden and he's going to take care of pests for us. So let's go ahead and enjoy this mantis together. Thanks for joining us. Um, I guess just keep in mind there are natural ways to keep your garden healthy. You do not need to resort to pesticides that are bought from the store. You can be as organic as you can. Um, we try to be 100% organic as much as we are possible to do. Um, our garden in, in there is a great example of that. Roan and I went ahead and harvested some nice veggies, some peppers, a couple different types of squashes, some cucumbers. We're gonna have a nice pasta sauce and a salad tonight, all from the garden. I encourage everybody, start a garden. That's the easiest way to start being more self-sufficient. So if you are in the mindset to be more self-sufficient go ahead plant a couple vegetables it's not too late in most areas you can still plant something even though it's almost july it's never too late to start a garden there's never a bad time to start a garden so we will see you in the next episode have a great great afternoon it's almost july i hope you're enjoying it with your friends and family